Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, and you're watching Ethan Van Skyver, comic book artist extraordinaire and illustrator of my book, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, on comic artist pro secrets. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I'm Ethan Van Skyver, your host, comic book artist for about 25 years. Still kicking, still doing uh, awesome stuff every single day. What can I tell you? Sitting uh, at my desk here thinking I haven't done a video yet today, and uh, it's about time that I did. Um, so let's get one done. Let's do a brutally honest portfolio review. Uh, I want you to meet a fellow named Logan, and Logan has submitted his portfolio to me. Um, and he understands by submitting his portfolio to me that I'm going to tear it to pieces. I'm going to tear it to shreds. I'm going to say rude and horrible things, uh, and he's just going to have to deal with it because that is what uh, these uh, portfolio reviews are. They're brutally honest. Now, truth be told, I'm not going to have to say very much uh, uh, that might hurt Logan's feelings because his work is really, really good, and I'm happy to see that. Um, However, even if it wasn't good, psst, I'm I'm a nice guy. I'm not I'm not really gonna be mean to anyone. That's not my purpose here. I don't want to be mean to anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I just want to help them grow, and uh, help you to grow as well um, by listening. All right. So uh, looks like Logan has decided to tell uh, four pages of Green Arrow and Black Canary, a story thereof. And um, he's got a really nice, uh, pleasing kind of cartoony style. Uh, it's not too cartoony. Uh, it's just expressive and interesting and very detailed as well. I mean, you know, if you were to look at um, the detail on uh, this guy's hat uh, and look at just the detail all around, beautiful backgrounds. Let's kind of zone out here and then check out the entire page. Um, really gorgeous stuff. And... Uh, if Logan isn't working already, uh, I'm surprised. I, I'll bet he is working. Uh, it might not be at Marvel or DC, um, but uh, he's going to end up there eventually. Uh, he's just a very talented guy. Uh, that is clear. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of uh, very imaginative angles here. I mean, this is really cool here with this kind of um, forced perspective. Um, really, really nice foreshortening on the arms. I like the head, like, coming right at us here. Um, and uh, Black Canary looks cute. Her hair's a little bit puffy on the top, um, but that's okay. Uh, also, he might benefit uh, to look at the way leather jackets kind of wrinkle a little bit more, unless this is kind of a very lightweight kind of faux leather, leather jacket. I mean, um, leather jackets kind of bunch around the arms in a very kind of particular way, and... Some photo reference there might help him. Uh, but this is really good. And I, I do like the little, she's clapping here. Uh, I like these little kind of shapes that her uh, hands are making. <laughs> it's very like Will Eisner. I don't know. This is really neat stuff. Great close up of the eye. You'll notice how he has made the eye uh, three dimensional. You know, we're looking at it from the side. Remember, the eyelid wraps around the eyeball. It is a ball. It is a globe shape up there. And you'll see the eyelid wraps all the way around it, and the eyelashes do as well. Very, very thoughtful. Very good. And uh, down here, we've got a really, really good, um, yeah, really, really good shot. I like this a lot. So we're looking down, and we see an awful lot of the ground. So obviously, the horizon line is way up here. Um, and everyone looks like they're standing on the same plane. Uh, Green Arrow shows up wearing his very complicated costume that is rendered absolutely beautifully. He's standing on a newspaper, and the newspaper has little secret, 
the Easter eggs on it. I love stuff like that. Plenty of garbage. Somebody balled up a lot of wads of paper like and threw them on the ground. That's very passive aggressive. Uh, but they did do that, and he actually took the time to draw lots of sheets of paper, uh, lots of balled up sheets of paper on the ground. Uh, everyone's always in the kind of disgusting porno district here. You've got a porno club, and you've got a casino uh, here. That's I'd go there. And then you've got a hooker bar, and then you've got just a regular bar. So you can tell it's the it's the fun part of town. And that's where people like this guy uh, are likely to be found. Logan, really good work. Let's look at the next page. Oh, here's our Green Arrow. Green Arrow is interesting. He's well drawn. He's also entirely too short. Green Arrow, your crotchola should be right about here. Um, and that is the problem. Now, uh, it could be a stylistic thing. I mean, again, I talk about puppets all the time. And uh, as long as there's consistency um, to the work that you're producing, uh, then it's good in the sense that, you know, it's like Rob Liefeld um, is a good example of this. Rob Liefeld's characters look a certain way. Um, their proportions were interesting and unique and creative. Uh, but as long as he kind of was consistent about that and his puppets looked the same every time he drew them, uh, I think that it, it made for uh, pleasant to read comics. Uh, you know, if you can tell a story with your puppets, that's even better. But consistency is important. So I'm looking at Green Arrow and I'm noticing that he's got the proportions of about a, a 12 year old boy here. And um, it doesn't make me thrilled. It doesn't make me think he's tough. It makes me think he's a little bit silly, um, uh, a little bit of a, like a pretender. Um, but at the same time, as long as that he sticks with that and, and everyone in the world is kind of built like this, He's such a good drawer. <laughs> it it kind of doesn't matter. Look at this ground here. Look at the wet ground reflecting light here. This is just, I would steal this trick from you, Logan. I like this a lot. Um, that's very pretty. And then the, the light, the flood of light in the background behind Green Arrow. You can see the light reflected here. You see the light in the tiny lines that he used to depict uh, what we can see of the buildings. Let me see if I can focus in on that for you. Uh, this is a really great trick. Um, using tiny little lines to kind of depict eh, just rough shapes, some gray shapes. You can see some little wires hanging back there behind him. Uh, he has created the, F, or the uh, effect in contrast with the black on the ground and the black that we see here, here of an awful lot of light behind Green Arrow. He's overexposed behind him. Uh, looks really great. Uh, also, we've got black around Black Canary here. So it's almost like we're saying something good, kind of not so good. Good, eh? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the meaning. Um, she looks great. She looks really great. Um, I've seen this style of art before. I feel like I've seen Logan's work. Logan, please don't tell me you're a pro. Um, that would be uh, devastating that I'm reviewing a, a professional. Uh, but look at the lettering, look at all this. It looks, it looks like it's ready to go to print. Yeah, great stuff. All right, let me zoom back out again. Uh, we get a little booty there. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, she looks like she jiggles uh, when she walks. That is really terrific work. And by the way, that's not easy to do, to, to find lines um, uh, to make a woman look soft, these smooth, you know, graceful lines, um, really good. And look at the arch of the back here, the way the hair hangs down to the shoulder blades. Um, Green Arrow is pointing and yelling. Uh, his proportions are remaining consistent. Logan, I'm not encouraging this. Uh, I'm, I'm not telling you that you should um, continue uh, with this set of proportions, but, uh, you know, whatever. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. I think it's going to end up limiting you uh, if you do that into being kind of like, it's a little bit cutesy. Like you're trying to tell a cool green arrow story and it's a little bit cute, little bit cute. I don't know why people do that these days. Something happened in the last uh, 20 years. Um, no, less than that. I'd say the last 15 years 
Well, there's a great effort to make superheroes cute. Uh, you could see it in those vinyl pop figurines. Uh, you know, you can see it in these kind of like baby doll versions of like powerful superheroes. It's all meant to be kind of like, hey, scary, uh, threatening, powerful men. Um, and I guess sometimes women, hey, let's reduce them down to these kind of like jiggly puff kind of creatures that uh, don't look very imposing at all. It's all, it's all adorable. It's all adorbs. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, your Black Canary, though, is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, let's see here what goes on. Yeah, good, good angle. Good storytelling. Look at this. Look at the way we're down here and we're looking up at Green Hour a little bit. We're giving him um, uh, some gravitas by choosing a low angle. Uh, and then we... Yeah, this is just terrific. This is a small panel. It's a small panel and look at all the drawing. Yeah, this is great. This is really, really good. Um, yeah, all the light. See, he's, he's kept it consistent. This is interesting. Uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we're not really showing too much light source on the figures themselves. Uh, there's a lot of this kind of vague, scritchy, scratchy here that doesn't really mean anything. Um, I'm looking, oh, why does my pencil keep doing that? As I'm trying to point at things. Hang on a second. I think it's because my hand gets in the shot. I'm looking at stuff like this, and I'm saying, what exactly is this doing in relation to this? Now this is, uh, and the same with his arm. You look at his arm here, you've got shadow here, you've got shadow there, you've got shadow there, you've got shadow there, ostensibly. Or is this, oh, he's got an X there. Is this meant to be blacked out? What is this? Why do you have an X there? Is that a stitch or something? That X scares me. It makes me think you want to black this out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I'm seeing light. A very, very kind of sketchy shadow work on both sides of the face as if you're afraid to kind of take a position. Where exactly is the light source? And we know that the light source is, is right behind him, uh, I believe. Um, uh, you know, there's no indication of that happening. No. No. You got light coming this way at him, according to this. You've got light hitting him this way by the darkness of these fingers under here and this kind of palm. Yeah, Logan, you you gotta you gotta just find a light source, commit to it, and stop monkeying around with this stuff. Stop it. That looks terrible. I would take this right off of his face right here. Or this. And then I'd put a shot. If I'm gonna keep this, we've gotta have a little bit of his shadow coming off of his nose going this way. Okay? And this kind of uh, shadow that you've done, you've flirted with this thing right here in the center of his forehead. That needs to go too. That's bizarre. Yeah, I'm gonna get rough on you now, Logan. You're good, I know you can take it. Um, look how great. <laughs> yeah, I like your black canary, she's funny. Uh, Green Arrow still looks a little too small. He looks like a boy man. He looks like a man boy. Um, great backgrounds, consistently great backgrounds. Ooh, Logan. Oh, my dude. That is awesome. That is awesome. Look at this very Asian um, style here. We break this down into speed lines. Yes. And look at that nice arc. And then we've got a, a blood right here. That's a little odd. I don't, I don't know if that explosion of blood would happen there or not. I don't think so. I'd get rid of that and I'd re-emphasize this and look at his head rock to one side. Again, all speed lines. His body jerks like he's just been shot in the head. Yes. That must have taken a long time. Logan, don't lie. That took an entire day. That took an entire day. I hope that scares those of you that are watching this and who aren't drawing every day this kind of a panel will is an investment of time but boy it really pays off it really pays off 
Um, let's see, and then we got our last page here. Great shot of the uh, Silver Woods uh, building, Desmond's. A nice, nice building here. Really good. I like the lighting. Really just great. And Green Arrow is just kind of sitting here with the bum. I guess he's a bum. I don't know. <laughs> it's great. I'm pleased, Logan. I'm really pleased with this stuff. Um, oh, he's handcuffed. Black Canary handcuffed him there. <laughs> and that's the punchline. All right. Yeah, I don't know if you wrote this or if someone else did, but it, it's really, really good. It's a great little short story, and uh, it's well drawn. Um, you've heard my complaints already, but, I mean, they are completely, completely subjective. Uh, they are my opinion. Uh, I like your, I like the proportions on your Black Canary. Uh, for some reason, Black Canary being kind of small uh, appeals to me because she's, she's a bird. She's a canary. Um, Green Arrow, he, he's got to have some height to him. He's got to be an imposing figure. And this is not an imposing figure. This is a petulant kind of teenager here. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's good. It's a good drawing, but is it Green Arrow? And that is the question. And I put it to you that even though he's dressed like him, uh, he is not Green Arrow. Uh, he doesn't inspire awe in me. He kind of just makes me think that he is, uh, I don't know, silly. And Black Canary just rocks him throughout this. She makes fun of him, which maybe she should, but I'd still like to see him look tough. And that's really it. Um, work on, on the lighting, on your light sources uh, as they uh, occur on the human form. Uh, in your backgrounds, uh, they are impeccable. I mean, you know, you're doing that really, really well, but then it gets strange when, when the light actually has to hit these, these figures. Like, I'm not sure what this dark is here. And, and then there's no dark here. Like there's dark on this hood and there's no dark here. There's dark there. That's fine. But, and there's no dark on this side of his face. It's just evenly distributed on his face. Pick a light source, stick to it. <clears throat> Yeah, great, 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 great. Okay, Logan, um, you're ready to work. I mean, you know, you're gonna grow. You, you've, you've definitely got room to grow, uh, but you, uh, oh, why is there, uh, I don't know. I guess this is, if the ground's wet and this is a reflection straight down into the ground, I'm looking at this like it's a shadow coming this way. Like that's, there's a light source there. And we know the light source is behind Green Arrow, and yet look like his back is shadowed here. And as soon as we see him from the front, we see that there's a tremendous amount of light behind him there. He should be dark in the front here and light in the back. This is nitpicking, but I mean, because overall it looks great, but this is just, you could take your art to the next level by just uh, remaining consistent with things like that. Great work, Logan, terrific work. Those of you watching this, um, if you are interested in getting a brutal portfolio review like this, why not just send me your portfolio? Four to six pages of artwork, a lot like what Logan's offered here. It doesn't have to be as good as Logan's. I'm not looking for um, you know, professionals necessarily. I'm just looking for people who are looking to improve their work. Um, four to six pages, send them to Ethan, E-T-H-A-N, 12032 at gmail.com. Or you can send them to my Twitter uh, DM, which is uh, Ethan12, no, I'm sorry, at Ethan Van Skyver. And uh, I will pick one at random. I'm gonna do one of these per day, uh, as long as I possibly can. And uh, eventually I should get to yours. Um, uh, you must be an adult, you must have thick skin and not get upset by uh, tough criticism. Uh, and there we go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the, your support. Uh, live chats have been going pretty good for the past two days. Thank you for your super chats. Thank you very much for um, uh, supporting my Patreon. I just got my first Patreon payout and I'm like, this is terrific. Yeah, I, I will keep doing this. A lot of people just have Patreons for absolutely no reason, but it's like, this is like paying me to be a teacher. <laughs> it's like, I don't mind doing these kind of instructive videos part time when my time is being so generously paid for by you guys. And I, I thank you very much. If you would like to, uh, there is a link down below. You could pledge $1 a month and it will um, support this channel, but it will also give you access to 
um, content, and there is going to be Rainbow Brute exclusive content on my Patreon uh, this month. Uh, so thank you again, guys. Have a great night. Probably do a live chat late tonight if I can uh, go down to the basement and be quiet because last night I was very noisy. Um, but I'll, I'll probably do that tonight and uh, you guys are welcome to join me. Thanks. Bye.